Welcome to Improper Fractions with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to take improper fractions and convert them to mixed numbers. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. And a mixed number is a whole number mixed with a fraction. So as you can see, there are four problems on your screen, four improper fractions. We're going to take all four of those and convert them to mixed numbers. If at any time you feel confident enough to try some on your own, feel free to press pause, complete the remaining problems, press play when you're ready, and check your answers with mine. Let's hop right in to number one. In number one, we have 17 thirds or 17 over three. So we need to convert that to a mixed number. In order to do so, we need to divide. We take the numerator, the 17, and we divide it by the denominator. So I'm going to set up a problem over here to show exactly what I'm doing. So we need to do 17 divided by three. How many whole groups of three can we pull out of 17? Hopefully you're thinking five whole groups. So that's our whole number for the mixed number, for our answer. So it doesn't work out exactly. There's going to be a remainder. So five times three is 15. Subtract, and we get two left over. So whenever there is a remainder, it's the numerator portion of the fractional part of the mixed number. So we put our two, our remainder, up here. And then we keep the denominator the same. You don't need to change it. So we get five and two thirds. So again, the division problem, 17 divided by three, the whole number, we got five. The remainder, we got this two right here, and we keep the denominator the same. So let's hop over to number two, or down to number two, 21 eighths. So the first thing we need to do is divide 21 by eight. And once you get good enough at these and you're very comfortable with them, you won't need to write out the division problem. Some of you may be to that point already. So 21 divided by eight, how many whole groups of eight can we pull out of 21? Well, eight, 16, 24. Three eighths, three eighths is too many, so it's only going to be two. So that's our uh, whole number part of our mixed number. Two times eight is 16. We subtract and we get a remainder five. So remember, the remainder is our numerator portion of the fraction. And then we keep the denominator the same. So two and five eighths. Number three, we have 36 sixths, so 36 over six. So the first step is divide. We need to do 36 divided by six. And so we need to think how many whole groups of six can we pull out of 36? And the answer to that is six, right? And we hit 36 exactly, six times six, 36. And we do not get a remainder. So our answer is going to be six holes. If there's no remainder, you're just going to have a whole number answer. So six. Number four, 51 ninths, 51 over nine. So we need to do 51, we'll come down here, divided by nine. How many whole groups of nine in 51? Well, five. That gets us to 45. If we do six groups, that's too many. So five times nine is 45. Let's subtract to see what the remainder is going to be. 51 minus 45 is six. So we get five holes. We have a remainder of six and we keep, keep the denominator the same. So five and six ninths. Now that six ninths can actually be simplified because we have a common factor between six and nine other than one. 
so we can divide both the 6 and 9 by 3 to break it down. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we can actually rewrite our answer as 5 and 2 thirds. We simplified the fractional part of the mixed number. All right, so that's how you convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. All it is is division and then rewriting your whole number, remainder, and denominator in the correct places. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.